Dear friends, a very warm welcome to A 40-Day Journey Through Lent with me, Father Joseph Royne, a Redemptorist. This is going to be a time of spiritual renewal and transformation. 40-Day Journey Through Lent, Day 33 Just the other day, I received a desperate call from a girl. She had been in a relationship for more than 10 years. But then she received a call from a boyfriend who says to her, It's over. I like somebody else. I don't think I can get married to you. Her whole world came tumbling down. The pieces of her life fell apart and she felt so hopeless, totally dejected and depressed. Or imagine another situation where you've been in a marriage for over 10 years. Or one fine day your husband walks up to you and said, Darling, this marriage is over. I want a divorce. How do you deal when something unexpected happens and catches you off guard? Instead of falling apart and blaming God and panicking, our attitude should be, God, I know you're still in control. I know you are seated on the throne and this is not a surprise to you. You wouldn't have allowed it unless you had a purpose. It may look like a setback, but I know the truth, that it is a set up for you to show your power in a greater way. God's purpose in the crisis is not just to show us His power, but to show other people what He can do. If you will view that adversity as an opportunity for God to display His greatness, then God will use you as an example. This is what I want you to do. Remember, only God, only God can turn your test into a testimony of His glory. And that's what God wants to do in your life. Yes, friends, God wants to turn your test into a testimony. That's why God will not stop every adversity. Being a believer doesn't make us immune to difficulty. But God promises that if you stay in faith, then He will take what was meant for our harm and not only use it to our advantage, but He will use it to display His greatness to other people. We come across a similar incident in the book of Exodus. The people of Israel are gathered by the bank of the Red Sea and the mighty Egyptian army is pressing against them. And the people of Israel grumble and complain to Moses saying, Why did you bring us here to die as though there were no graves in Egypt? But Moses says to the people of Israel, Fear not, stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord which He will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. When you count on God, in your moments of unexpected difficulty, He will make you walk through dry short land and split the Red Sea into two. I don't know what that Red Sea is for you today. That may be an unexpected situation. You know what that means. But if you can put your trust in the Lord, He will make great things happen. We come across in the Gospel of John. Jesus was four days late for His best friend's funeral. His best friend Lazarus was buried in the tomb. And when Jesus says, Roll the stone away, Martha, the sister of Lazarus, cries out to Jesus and says, Lord, there must be a terrible stench, it's four days. 
And Jesus turns around and says to Martha, Martha, did I not tell you? If you believe, you will see the glory of God. No matter how hopeless your situation may be today, but if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So when something unexpected happens, don't you fall apart and panic. Instead, that's when more than ever you need to expect God to show up and turn the situation around. I make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you.